Hey there, today we'll talk about Thunderball and a few uncredited roles that I'd love to point out. Hey there everybody and thank you for visiting AdShot. If this is your first time or you are returning, we appreciate you here. You are welcome here. Today we will review the film Thunderball from 1965 and we will go over two of the film's actors, Ian Bullock and Robert Bullock. We will highlight their uncredited roles in this movie. Got you all shooting at each other. Here we go, we got the close-up of my dad right here, and we'll touch on this a little bit later, but here is Ian and Robert Bullock, brothers, and we're going to get right into the meat, and we're going to show you the scenes in the movie that Ian and Robert appear. Let's call this first scene Boarding Domino's Boat, and this will feature Ian Bullock, in a role where he replaces Sean Connery in this scene as he dives off the boat that he pretends is inoperative, boards the boat with Domino, and goes to the destination they need to go. And of course, in the next scene, will be Sean Connery on the boat. But of course, in this scene, the back of uh, Sean Connery's head, well, no, that's Ian Bullock. And, uh, course very proud of this role and the many others that we're going to take a look at so with the format I'll show you the actual scene from the movie and then I'll just take away the sound so I can speak over and describe what you're looking at this next scene we'll call entering the casino again Ian Bullock Ian's wearing the white jacket right here as Sean Connery passes him if you missed it, let's look at it again. Ian Bullock wearing the white jacket. And a fine, fine white jacket it was. Plenty of stories behind that. Here we go. We have the main gate into Palmyra. This is Robert Bullock. And, of course, we have Chris returning with the information to Largo. Open up. And... Robert Bullock right there in the far back behind the gate walking back and forth with his machine gun again you can see Robert Bullock young man manning the machine gun making sure whoever's entering is legit this next scene is called feeding the sharks featuring Ian Bullock and you'll see right off the bat Ian is down on the bottom left Crisp. What happened? And we'll skip ahead here, and Ian Bullock will be behind Largo in the following scene. You let him get the better of you. And there he is, standing behind Largo. No, as he orders Chris to be removed, no, and my dad no, comes from behind no, and assists. No, what is taking place? As you can see through the water, my dad starting on the far left makes his way off scene. Again, as we look closer, my dad on the bottom left here. Standing behind Largo. And then entering to assist the other gentleman. Again, another scene where my dad did plenty of scenes around the sharks. It was a big shoot that day in the middle of the afternoon at Palmera. My dad got a hose around the pool to splash the sharks. Unfortunately, he soaked the pool deck and ruined the next shot. Here we go. This next scene will be called the Palmera Skeet Operator. This is played by Robert Bullock. And Robert Bullock right here in this scene is the far left in black. Is the ski like operator? I can think of and there no he better is in the background. Because he tries to make love to your woman. Because he is born. So an Robert is playing the ski operator in this scene. These are all the Four. scenes where you can He's see him difficult. visually. And for the longest time, I always thought this was my dad. And it's so funny to recently find out that that was always my uncle. So again, a major shoot, major production this day here at Palmera, and the entire cast was out this day. And Sean Connery loved to golf, and he was over an hour late for the shoot. 
And when he finally showed up, the director got him out in front of everyone and gave him some royal sh**. So just great timing how the helicopter scene up above is getting Robert on the left here. He is blurry, but in the background of just a major scene here in the movie. And uh, as we move forward to the next scene, you'll again see Robert Bullock in the background. This next scene we'll call Patrolling the Grounds. This is Ian Bullock. That boat, is she yours? The Disco Volante, yes. I'm very proud of her. Uh, what does she do? As About you can 15 see, knots? Ian is Better patrolling the that. grounds. Near 20. In the background. Perhaps you'd like to see over her. Yes, I would very much. Emilio. Ian appears Punch to be... Ready. Thank you, my darling. Keeping guard, before. keeping watch. Doing his job know. well. Yes. I was just thinking, as I'll be busy this evening, perhaps Mr. Bond will be kind enough to take you to the Junk Canoe. It's our local Mardi Gras. Again, we have... Ian, as he's just kind of walking, strolling the property, of course, all while in between takes and, you know, continuing to just be part of this shot, doing what he's supposed to be doing. And that uh, looks great. This next one we're going to call A Little Shove to Felix. And this again will be Ian Bullock. All right, so as I set the scene, this is when Felix comes in. There's a major issue here, and Bond has to come down and meet him, and that's my dad shoving Felix on his way up the stairs. Again, shoving Felix right here. Felix has to even take a look over because my dad gave him an extra one. You know, he wasn't he wasn't messing around. This was real acting here, so my dad uh, played the role nicely there. We'll call this one the Night Raid at Palmyra, and this will be Ian Bullock again. And we'll start this scene with Ian Bullock second from the left as he comes in quickly. And then as James Bond sneaks away, my dad here first in line, running straight at the camera. And then as James Bond creates a diversion, there's a lot of confusion. And here's my dad here in the middle. shooting at each other! Again, second from the left coming in, and uh, first in line here, running out. Great shot, just one of Largo's henchmen, and again in the middle there, great, great shot. So as we come on in again, first in line, and then yeah, some good air time right there, some screen time. All right, so this is one of my favorite scenes. This is called the Canal Swim into Palmyra, and this is Ian Bullock. There's a small bridge over the canal. Largo never allows strangers to go near it. By the canal, there's a flight of steps. And this scene will Down feature my dad swimming. Obviously supposed to be James Bond. Just a great shot of my dad here swimming up and out of the water. Getting some water out of his face. And then right here jumping out of the water. And here is Sean Connery with shoes on. So this is one of my favorite scenes, of course, in the next scene, Sean Connery's hair is completely dry. It's just such a great, great moment of Hollywood history. And just looking at these scenes, one of my favorite, swimming with my dad growing up, just everything about this, the way he moved his shoulders, his neck. When I look at this video, I see the bottom of his feet. I see the texture of his skin. I see the top of his hands. I see everything that reminded me of swimming with him growing up. This one we'll call Disco Volante separates. This is Ian and Robert Bullock. And here we go as the Disco Volante separates from the cocoon. Cocoon's away. And here come Ian and Robert Bullock in the top middle now, about to man the machine gun again in the cocoon. They are going to take the machine gun now. And they will go through with this scene here. This is my dad on the right. And a quick two second shot here. Crazy movie magic right here. This is putting everyone at the seat of their pants and Ian and Robert are right now going to the machine gun, setting it up and they're gonna get ready for this next quick scene. They are in the background in this shot 
and they're getting the machine gun prepped and ready. Unfortunately, the machine gun got jammed a lot, but they were able to use these amazing shots in the scenes. This is a stretched out two second clip. It's just amazing of them on the right. Here again, Ian and Robert approaching the machine gun on the top. Again, they're still working on the machine gun as the boat separates. And then the next scene, we have an overhead helicopter shot of my dad and Robert manning the machine gun on the right. And again, this quick two second shot. Amazing. All the action and everything involved making this movie. So much respect. Go get Thunderball today. Go watch it if you haven't seen it in a while. It's just the best Bond of them all. Disco Volante was just the coolest ship. Everything about this movie just makes people feel great about that time in history. What were you doing in 1965 when Thunderball came out? What were you doing? For me, I wasn't even thought of yet. But you know what? When I grew up and my dad was the hero, he was Sean Connery's double, he was one of Largo's henchmen. So for all the uncredited roles and all the people that helped out to make this film, this one's for you, and these are just two gentlemen that were able to take part in this moment in history. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below. There's more to come. Please, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.